Can you dig it? Morning folks, I'm back again. It's a lovely day, it's April, but don't let the sun deceive you. It's still got a little bit of a chill in the air. There's a perfect thing you can do to warm up though, and that's do some digging. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll be tidying up them, the rest of the beds there the day. Crack it on, after me cuppa. See you in a bit. <sighs> right, before I crack on there, I'll just show you what's been happening in the greenhouse since last week. There's the brassicas that I potted on. Liking it. The broad beans, there's no sign of them yet. But I have noticed, see this compost here? I get it in the light there. This is the clover gold. And this one was the clover multi-purpose. And it looks a lot drier than the other. The, the multi-purpose is a lot drier than the other stuff, I've noticed. Anyway, the onions, there's no sign of them yet. I didn't think there would be. The broad, uh, not broad beans, the sweet peas are doing okay there. And there's no sign of any of the seeds I sowed last week. I'll show you the um, peas as well. No sign of them. And it's been a week. So we'll see what happens. Like I say, this compost, the multi-purpose stuff seems to be drying out quicker than the other stuff. I might have to do something there, folks. These onions and shallots down here. I'll put them out into the into that greenhouse where it's a bit cooler let them acclimatise a bit that can be my uh, cold frame <laughs> right so today what I'm going to be doing is digging this I need to dig this green manure in see if it works or not I don't know if it's the right time but it's going to be done I need to sort out this little bit here as well that looks like green manure, but it's not, so I'm going to dig it all out. I don't know. I'll see when it comes. I've got that to do yet. And you know what it looks like to me? A right mission. <laughs> I'd rather shovel a load of cow manure than have to dig our lad in. Anyway, this bit is done. The potatoes will be going there. One, two, three rows. I'll make a little patch here for lettuce or something like that. I don't know. This bit will not take long. This has had all of the leaf mould that just fell off the cherry trees and the apple trees. It's just uh, it's just rotted in there now. So we'll see how far I get today, folks. But the first job is, which I'm not looking forward to, <laughs> digging this green manure in. So I'll crack on.
Right, that's that. Woo, I'm sweating now. I think I'll have a sit down in a cuppa. Over there. See you in a bit. Ah, cuppa. That's better. Anyway, that's that bed dug. I don't know if I've done it right. I know I've dug right, but I don't know. You know, it's the first time I've used green manure. I'm not too sure about it. You know, my instinct was to grab the weeds out while I was digging. Oh no, there's a weed, grab it. But no, I left it because it's all supposed to be green manure. So we'll see what happens. Whew, tell you what, it's warm now, like, oh, it's warm now. I, when I was digging there, it made us think. I've been digging this garden now for 22 years, folks. Wow, <laughs> I don't want a round of applause for that or anything, it's just, I've dug this soil for 22 years. I know this garden is at least 100 years old, and for a quarter of that, almost, I have dug the garden. Now, I know a lot of people go down the no dig route, and I'm not telling anybody not to do that. It's up to them. It's entirely up to you what you want to do in your garden. But if you first get an allotment, and you want to check your soil, because I see on Facebook, a lot of people on the gardening groups, they'll say, I've just got an allotment. They'll take a picture. I've just got this allotment. I don't know what to do. What do you think I should do, folks? And you can guarantee the first five comments will say, go to see Ch Charles Dowden, no dig. Now, like I say, I'm not putting anybody down that does no dig, but you've got to look at your soil first. I would never cover my soil. It's perfect for me. Like I, it's like I say, it's at least a hundred years of digging. And it, people say, you know, nowadays it's like digging's like a, whoa, you're doing a dig, you'll, you'll harm the soil and all that. Well, I don't seem to have ha had any harm to my soil. Uh, so check your garden, soil first, give it a dig over, see what it's like, give it one year. If it's a brand new garden and it's just all clay, maybe you want to start doing the no dig, but if you've got a an allotment on a site that's been there for quite a few years check the soil it it will be good soil if it if the site's been there for a long time and i wouldn't waste your money ah <laughs> there's a thorn in me in my finger folks ah <laughs> got it Sorry about that, you know, when you, ow, <laughs> prick your finger, ah, <laughs> that's what happened. Anyway, I, check your soil, I wouldn't spend a fortune every year on putting compost on the ground, but the shop bought compost, because don't forget folks, compost only lasts like six months, and then you've got to put it on again. So, like I say, I'm rambling now, um, I'm going to get on with some more digging, because I love it. Can you dig it? Yes! 10 points for whoever recognises that quote. What film is this off? Can you dig it? Right, so I've just been busy there digging, as you can see. And this was much easier than that, digging the green manure in. I tell you what, it was a, it was a proper chore that, like, this took about 15 minutes to dig it over it's sound where's this one with all of the roots and all of that it was a right nightmare it was like getting the new garden and having to get all the grass out and all that you know what i mean so i don't think i'll be doing that again like i said before i would rather shovel a ton of manure than have to dig that little tiny square no way not a, never again uh, i mean unless my crops are massive and all that but I, I doubt it so uh, I think I'll crack on with this bit here as well before I go uh, I don't know I don't make any plans folks I just go for it I walk down the path and go right I'm going to do that today and that's it I might even tidy this bit up down here actually because it's a bit of an eye so I, I think I'll do that I'll leave the digging for another day and I'll tidy this bit up so season a bit lovely blue sky and a little bit of breeze right 
just while the kettle boils there, I'll show you what I've been doing. I'll give you a little bit of advice, folks. You know, every gardener does this. You know when you've got like old pots or ceilings that hasn't uh, germinated and you just make a pile? Everybody's got them in the garden, piles. Well, as you can see, well, if you sit on cold ground, you get piles. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. Bad joke. Um, as you can see there, I've removed all of the bits of plastic and stuff, all of the tarpaulin. I've just put it up to the top of the garden there for now. Hopefully, we may get a skip one day. Fingers crossed. Pigs might fly as well. But anyway, as I was saying, everybody makes piles of stuff. Broken crockery. Uh, broken terracotta. Stuff like that. Uh, siege trays. Stuff. Oh, I'll just stick it there. I'll just pile it there and I'll sort it out one day. Well, one day comes and then it all becomes like this. Which... It, it's a, for starters it's a massive mound and it's just full of roots and all sorts of stuff broken tails crockery roots mostly stinging nettles so what I've been doing is just slowly digging them out and chucking them into this fire pail which I'll sort out one day uh, but I folks don't think it's a good idea to just put things down and think right I'll sort that out one day because it just becomes a nightmare if not for you for the next person who gets the allotment if you don't stick it out sort of thing so there's a little bit of advice for you this kettle should be boiled now so I'm gonna make a cup a bit, bit. this kettle should be boiled now so I'm gonna make a cup of see you in a bit right folks that's me Almost done. I'm just going to boil the kettle there, have one more cuppa, and then I'm going to sign off. But before I do, I'll spin you around, show you what I've been doing. It's turned into a lovely evening, folks. It's six o'clock now. But, like I say, it's time for me to go because I've done enough. I'll spin you around. I like I say, it's, it's a glorious evening. Hopefully it'll stay like this and we can all get cracking on in the garden. There's some uh, tulips coming up there, look. Lovely. There's one open already over there. I might as well show you everything while I, I wait for the kettle. There I've got my first tulip of the season and there's many more to come. That should look nice. This rose here is starting to put some growth on now as is Annie's rose. Not be long before we start seeing some blooms on there again. The daffodils here have come to an end, so I'll sort them out. This is starting to flower again there. Nice. So it's all looking good, folks. These are some, uh, I can't remember, some sort of miniature daffodil type thing, but they've started to come there. Nice. I'll just show you in the greenhouse. I haven't done much in here today. There's the cabbages and that I was showing you before. As you can see, the soil there, the, it's a bit drier than this, the clover gold. But the clover gold has got wetting agent in. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But they seem to have liked being transplanted there. They'll not go any more leggy than that. I've put them onions down there because I've put these sweet peas out here now. That gives us a little bit more space to put something in here. Now, there's no sign of any any sort of growth yet, like, but it was only seven days ago, so I wouldn't expect any. I wouldn't expect any different. And the peas, well, there is a little bit movement there. That pea wasn't there on top like that before, so they must be starting to root. And like I said earlier on, these onions and shallots. They'll be going out soon, so I'll put them in the, in the cold frame greenhouse when the time comes. Anyway, what have I been doing? I've been having a bloody nightmare, that's what I've been doing. Aye, folks, don't think it's a good idea to just pile cut, like, soil plants that haven't worked, 
st stuff that hasn't germinated, all that sort of thing. Because it just turns into a right nightmare. I'm getting there, like, I've started digging around the artichoke. That's not too bad there. And I've fixed the uh, tin can man. That was his feet there. He fell over. Because as you can see there, he was a bit too heavy for his flares there. So I've took them away and I've just put another bin at the bottom there. So he's looking good, standing up straight again, ready to show off his stuff that he plants in the wheelbarrow when the time comes, which will be soon. Hi, right, so this, folks, this side's done. There was as much as I can do. I was pulling all sorts out with this pile, man. Look at it's exactly what I'm talking about. Don't just stick things down and then forget about them. That was a kind of good potato. Look at that. A fork. Ha! What? An old pen. A bit slate. Aye, anyway, that's that done. It's it's free of all debris now. It just needs a little bit of a forking through to get the roots out. It'll be fine. Aye, this uh, green manure. Never again. Not for me. It's not for me, folks. Look at that. I've made another little pile, but I know that this pile will be going soon because it's on the path. So this bit's all dug now. Sorry about that sun glare, folks. So it's all there, uh, like I say, done. Can you dig it? It was much easier to dig as well than digging this little little section here, man. It took ages, honestly. It took ages. It was just like getting a new, new allotment all over again. So I even, I've started testing the soil on this side as well it is still a little bit claggy folks so do be careful look hello oh, i kind of do that with me right hand i'm not very good um i this side not too bad but it is a bit soggy still the earth was clinging to me feet me feet <laughs> the earth was clinging to me foot but it'll not take long to sort this little bit out that's all that needs to be dug now now this little section here was my fruit cage and as you can see I've got a gooseberry there, black currant bushes but this at the back here is a honeyberry. Now I bought that, it was only about... Sorry about that folks, my memory card was full again so I had to just delete some files there. Aye this was a honeyberry, or oh, this is a honeyberry and it was only three inches tall when I planted it it grew quite a bit there, which brings us on to me little predicament here. Shall I dig it out and put them along the edge here? I'll just leave them in there because it's not getting much light during the summer and that with this, this here. This, this is a, a mock orange and it's getting quite big, but the birds love it. They love hiding in there um, in the, the lake hiding in this holly bush as well well it's a holly tree there now well, I noticed the other week I was here I, th I thought a magpie was starting to make its nest in the top there but I haven't seen it back I'm, I must have scared it off Aye, there's a load of birds in there I can see them right now anyway eh, is there anything up here to show you not really just a little bit of a wildlife area all of this eh, dead stuff can be rake back within the next couple of weeks now spring is finally coming but it's not here just yet not in the northeast anyway right i'm rambling look there's some bluebells coming up there and there's a few loose daffodils as well can he can he right i'm waffling i'm gonna get this kettle on it should be boiled by now i should say i'm gonna make a cuppa and i'm gonna sign off so I'll see you in a bit. Well, folks, like I say, that's me done for the day. I've had enough. You can only do so much digging before it sickens you. <laughs> now, I'm only joking. I love digging. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. 
and always thanks for commenting liking and especially subscribing if you haven't already please do if you're still watching <laughs> probably not anyway cheers folks i'll see you on the next one and from mr chicken <laughs>